What's up, everybody? Here is my apple cider vinegar drink and what you need, how to make it, and how to consume it. First off, the external things that you're going to need, you're going to need a knife, you're going to need a teaspoon, you're going to need a container, something preferably with measurement, and you're going to need a juicer. The juicer I got from Target for like $7.99. This is an all greens cup or whatever, but you can get one that has measurements on it so you can measure the eight ounces that you're going to need. Um, it's a regular kitchen knife and then it's a regular teaspoon for the measurements that are going to go into this drink. Other than that, you're going to need water. It could be spring, mineral, or alkaline water. You're going to need um, a apple cider vinegar that has the mother. As you can see right here in the red, it says with the mother. And as you can see right here, it says with the mother as well. So you're going to need those uh, things. Fairchild, Whitehall, Denegris. There are a couple of different apple cider vinegars that you can use. I'm not associated nor affiliated with any of the apple cider vinegar you see here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove everything and then reintroduce it. How you should create and consume and go from there. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pour eight ounces of water into a container. Measure it out. Now the drink total is going to be around 11 and a half to 12 ounces. That all is depending on the size of the lemon that you juice and the juice that's created from it. If you are trying to use lemon juice from a bottle, you can pour two and a half ounces to three ounces <clears throat> into a container and use that. Apple cider vinegar. I'm using the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. I've, I've clearly, you can see it. There's not much left. So I've used a, a lot of this. The mother is resting at the bottom. It's the brown specks. You shake it up so that it's distributed evenly throughout the whole container. When you open it, you're gonna smell the pungent smell of the apple cider vinegar, don't worry about that. Um, the smell isn't as pronounced in the other apple cider vinegars, but it is what it is, right? So that's my teaspoons right there, two teaspoons, not tablespoons, teaspoons. If you pour too much uh, Apple cider vinegar in there, the acidity will, will be too much for your stomach and you'll feel it. It'll feel like a stomach ache. So now that we have the eight ounces of water, two, uh, the two teaspoons, it comes up to about nine, just a little bit over nine, um, nine ounces. Now I've rolled this lemon so it'll be juicier when I cut it. And I just cut the way that I cut. Don't clown me cutting it up. But you see the juice dropping out of there right now. That's always a beautiful sign. There we go. And then I let it juice a little bit more. And I use real lemons because I like seeing seeds in my, in my, uh, in all the fruit that I ever eat. So I don't do seedless grapes, seedless watermelon, any of that kind of stuff. Now we juice it and get all this juice out of there. And this is going to be a really good one. I think we're going to get about two and a half to three ounces out of this one. And I juice it really good because the juicing, um, the lemon cuts the taste of just the apple cider vinegar and gives it like a lemony flavor. So, you know what I mean? So it's not so rough going down. <clears throat> yeah, that's good right there. That's really good. I'm going to set this to the side, pour it in here. And yep, we're just under 12 ounces in the drink. Now, some of you are going to use regular cups. Just stir it up. I'm using this container, so I'm going to put the top on it. I'm going to shake it up. The water is at room temperature level. It is not uh, cold or heated. Um, and that's so that you can drink the drink straight down. Cheers to you. I counted eight gulps. <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> Initially, when it goes down, you're probably going to burp or whatnot, but the gas wants to come out of you, so it's either going to come out of your throat or the other area. Um, and that uh, energy boost that you get, you drink this on an empty stomach when you wake up. So if you wake up in the morning, drink it. If you wake up in the afternoon, for the first time of the day, you drink it, but on an empty stomach, usually when you're breaking your sleep fast. Perfect introduction to get your body set up uh, to retrain how it should operate. I hope you enjoyed this. Try it. It works.